Hi, this is Lori from Dutchie. This is my post blog for C2 Eagle Lesson 9. For this lesson, I asked the students to film the difference in communication style using the two different types of speech, mitigated speech and then direct speech. Then the students had to decide which style was most successful at achieving a certain goal. To start off with the things that worked well, Having the three situations as examples were really helpful. So the situations the students actually really liked. I didn't have a group that wanted to create their own. I did leave it open for them though if they wanted to, but a really popular one seemed to be the library one. I'm also really glad that I chose to do just like a plain video this time as opposed to uh, special effects and extra media. So this time the students actually told me it was more challenging, so I liked that. They should be challenged to figure out different ways to use the English language. They were really exploring with body language, facial gestures, tone of voice. I really think it was one of the neatest ones to see the students do. So I, I liked that challenge. So taking those expressions from the CSLP book and putting it into action, like they had to incorporate a faux pas, a form of respect, manners or etiquette into their acting. They were trying to figure out different things within their own culture and, and we, I had some students that had um, lived abroad so they were all asking each other, oh what did they do in America, what did they do in Australia. So that was really cool for the students to kind of brainstorm and talk to each other and try to figure out different ways that different cultures communicate the same message. Now for the challenges. My task sheet, I noticed that I uh, should have rearranged some of the steps or should have added a couple more details. So originally I had uh, two different stages, like a brainstorming stage and then a creation stage. Within the brainstorming stage, I separated them into the students having to pick their situation and goal, deciding which type of speech mitigated or direct would be successful at achieving the goal, and then uh, thinking of things to write into their introduction and conclusion. Then the second stage I had um, separated into two groups work on the mitigated speech scene while the other would work on the direct speech scene. So problems that I ran into. I noticed that um, it was hard for them to figure out which version of speech would be more successful without having decided what type of culture they were presenting. So uh, for the following classes, I switched it where I made them decide what culture they were going to film. Was it going to be an Asian culture or Western culture? So that would be step one. From there, we go to step two where they pick a situation. So already knowing what type of culture they picked, it the students had more of a reason to pick a certain situation because they already had kind of an idea in head um, how they wanted to present the process of achieving that goal. Then the third step would be to select which style of speech was successful. And again, they would just link that back to whatever culture they chose. Then I added an extra step where they have to uh, brainstorm what they want to film in the scene. What is the exact actual message you want to send? Um, what are the actions that are going to be used? The tone of voice and the body language that is going to be used in both, both um, direct and indirect scenes. So just kind of like a brief skeleton of what the script should look like. Then um, finally to the intro and conclusion step. So I specifically specified in the introduction I wanted them to first uh, specify the culture that they were filming, the aspects of that culture, the situation that they were filming, and the goal that they were trying to achieve, as well as discussing the faux pas, the respect, manners, and etiquette that they incorporated into their scenes. Then the conclusion I specified I wanted them to indicate which type of speech was successful and not successful and why according to that culture. For our video, we're going to do two scenes on our video, right? As you can see right here, the second stage I uh, kind of kept the same but I switched it a little bit. The trouble that I ran into was when I had them separated into two groups, one writing direct, one writing mitigated. A lot of the students had the difficulty with the mitigated speech. They couldn't really understand how to write a speech mitigated version. So what I did to kind of help them understand the difference was I asked them to write the, the direct speech scene first and so remove any polite sentence or shyness in the in the script and then just get the characters to say and do exactly how they felt and what they wanted to achieve and then um, the second step I asked them to take that exact same script and rewrite each of the sentences so in a mitigated version with more mannerisms that show respect and etiquette and or a shyness, embarrassment. And then from there, it was easier for them to tie in those cultural aspects and understand how to differentiate 
why one would be more successful than the other. Start with a direct. Then step two is turn the direct speech, copy everything that was there, but change it into the mitigated version. The other thing I asked them to do, I noticed that in my first class the students were filming it, but um, they would film it for like 10 seconds and then stop. I then asked them to do at least a one minute film per scene. So um, that helped and so that took up like two or three minutes total because they had two scenes and then they had to do an introduction and a conclusion summary. So that took up the five to seven minutes of their presentation which uh, was much better. If they didn't achieve that one minute in minimum, I asked to refill. <laughs> So that was my experience with uh, Lesson 9, and I will check in with you guys when it is Lesson 11. Have a good one.